Welcome to the Coastal Culinary Festival, where the air is thick with the scent of fresh seafood and exotic spices. Amidst the bustling stalls, Sophie Sage, a 28-year-old culinary student with curly brown hair and bright green eyes, navigates the crowd, her heart pounding with anticipation. Today is her moment to shine, but the festive atmosphere is shattered by a piercing scream. Over here, someone's down. A voice cries out, sending a wave of panic through the throng. Sophie pushes her way to the front, her instincts on high alert. There, beside a display of crabs, lies the lifeless body of the renowned chef, Victor Moreau. The festival, once vibrant, now feels like a stage for tragedy. Detective Inspector Harold Finch arrives, his presence commanding as he surveys the scene. Secure the area. No one leaves, he orders, his voice cutting through the chaos. The investigation begins, and Sophie, filled with a mix of dread and curiosity, watches as Finch interviews witnesses. The festival has turned into a battleground, and Sophie is determined to uncover the truth. The crime scene is a stark contrast to the lively festival. Victor Moreau, a chef of great renown, lies lifeless on the ground, his pale form a grim centerpiece amidst the chaos. Detective Inspector Harold Finch, with his commanding presence, takes charge. His eyes, sharp and observant, miss nothing as he meticulously examines the surroundings. The air is tense, filled with whispers and the rustle of the crowd. Finch's voice is calm yet authoritative as he begins to interview witnesses. What did you see? He asks a trembling vendor, whose eyes dart nervously towards a shadowy figure. Ruthie Clove, a rival chef, lurks in the shadows, her expression unreadable. The detective's questions are precise, each one a step closer to unraveling the mystery. The festival, once a celebration of culinary arts, is now a scene of suspicion and intrigue. Sophie Sage, watching from the sidelines, feels the weight of the moment. Her admiration for Victor and her curiosity about the unfolding drama drive her to seek answers. The investigation is underway, and the truth lies hidden beneath layers of jealousy and ambition. Detective Finch's interview sequence is a masterclass in investigative precision. His questions are sharp, his demeanor calm, as he navigates the tangled web of witness accounts. A trembling vendor stands before him, eyes wide with fear, pointing a shaky finger towards Ruthie Clove, the rival chef lurking in the shadows. Finch's gaze follows the direction, his mind piecing together the puzzle. Sophie Sage, standing nearby, watches intently. Her admiration for Victor Moreau fuels her determination to uncover the truth. The festival, once a vibrant celebration, is now a backdrop for a deeper story of rivalry and ambition. Sophie's mind races with possibilities, each one more intriguing than the last. She senses the undercurrents of jealousy that simmer beneath the surface, and with a determined glint in her eye, she resolves to dive into the fray. The investigation is in full swing, and Sophie is ready to play her part. The truth is out there, waiting to be discovered, and she is determined to find it. As the investigation unfolds against the backdrop of the festival, Detective Finch and Sophie Sage find themselves drawn into a complex web of rivalry and ambition. The culinary arts, once a source of joy and creativity, now serve as the stage for a suspenseful drama. Finch's methodical approach and Sophie's determination create a dynamic partnership, each driven by a desire for truth. The festival, with its vibrant colors and tantalizing aromas, is now a place of intrigue and mystery. As the pieces of the puzzle begin to fall into place, the tension mounts. Will the truth be uncovered, or will it remain hidden beneath layers of deception? Join us on Storyteller as we delve deeper into this captivating case. Subscribe for more thrilling investigations and stay tuned for the resolution of this culinary mystery.